Hey y'all, I want to tell you about my favorite garden hack, seed time. You know that time in the middle of the winter when you really want to be planting something, you really want to be outside with your hands in the dirt, but there is nothing you can do? Well, seed time comes to the rescue. You have the opportunity in the dead of winter to not just vainly flip through seed catalogs, but actually plan your garden. And when you do that, and it becomes this time of year when you get to do all the fun things, it gives you so many tools. When you take the time to put into seed time what you actually want to grow, it will generate for you when you should seed it, when you should transplant it, when you can expect your harvest. It's amazing. It also has a thing that will help you do succession plantings if that's what you want to do. But the super cool part, the part that helps you actually stick with your plan, is it will generate a task list for you for every week so you know exactly what to do to stick with that really cool plan that you made. Now, I'm a paper girl. I like to print out my task list and take it to the garden, but you can totally take, it to, take your tablet out to the garden with you and just check things off as you get them done. This is my second year using Seed Time. Last year, I loved it. It helped me stay on task. It was great. But this year, I upgraded to the paid version, which comes with a whole new set of bells and whistles. One of them being the garden layout feature, which is amazing. My task list tells me, because I've set it up in my layout, where to plant the things that I'm planting that week. So I know that I'm gonna put a succession planting of squash where I just took out my peas. The other thing that I absolutely love about seed time is this. Doesn't look like much because it's just empty dirt, but in my seed time app, it predicted when I would harvest my broccoli, and I did, but I got done sooner than expected. So I'm able to customize my harvest window for where I live and how my climate does things. So now I have a spot where I can just bump up the rest of my calendar. There's so many things that I love about using Seed Time, but one of the things that I really love is that it is a family owned company. Not just that, but if you reach out to them for help, if you contact them, you're probably going to end up talking to one of the owners or one of the decision makers, and they are listening to us. They are making adjustments and upgrades all the time because of what people are telling them. I love using it, and if you want to see it in action, check out this video here, and if you're ready to get started, check out the link below.